In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a MOF transition template in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four options here, four different icons. And then there's a needle here, which is pointing towards the first uh, step. And this is a step one, and you can add the detailed text here. And on my next click, the needle move to the option two or the step two, you can see here, and this is enabled. And then the step two details will come here and then on my next click the needle will come to the option three or the step three and this will be enabled you can see here and then on my next click this will enable the option four and if you want you can add more options by bringing this in the center so let's see how to create this morph transition template in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any dark color in this case i have taken the color blue gray and then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key maybe this much size you can see here then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some uh, dark color combination here you can see here light blue gray here then make it align center align middle then I'm going to duplicate by pressing Ctrl D. You can see here and this color I'm going to change. You can see here go to fill colors and you can just choose any color from here and click OK. And then I'm going to right, right mouse click, go to format shape and under effects, go to the soft edges and increase the soft edges. You can see here something like this and hold the shift key increase the size a little bit more and then go to align center align middle and send this to back so it looks something like this and if you want to increase the size you can increase further by just holding the shift key again just a little bit and again align center align middle i'm going to add two more oval shape for that go to insert shapes select the oval shape Draw the oval shape again holding the shift key you can see here and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark color again then go to effects and under 3d format i'm just going to select the round one or you can just select the angle also so whichever you want you can just simply select that one and you can increase if you want you can reduce the width or you can increase the width up to your requirement and then you can come to the material and lighting you can just change this one for example i can just select any of this and then i'm going to add one more oval shape select this one again hold the shift key maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give this green color you can see here and then go to the effects shadows under presets i'm going to select from the inner i'm going to select in inside center you can see here and you can increase the blur size and then this also align center align middle so we end up getting this shape and then i'm going to add the icons if you don't have the icons i have provided the uh, more than 500 free icons in on my channel you can just go and search or if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just simply go to insert icons and select the icons as per your requirement so let me just randomly select some icons you can see here i'm just selecting five icons here click on insert and then i'm going to make the size as 0.5 at uh, the height and width you can see here and then i'm just going to add the icon one by one so this is my first icon i'm going to add it here the second icon i'm going to add here the third icon here and the fourth icon here you can see here and then this icon i'm going to give the same color here and you can go to the effects and under effects you can go to the glow and you can give some light glow also like this and for this one i'm going to make it as a gray and later on when it goes to the next slide i can just change the color according to the requirement so just make sure that it is properly aligned and let me just go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the the triangle 
draw the triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same color let me just zoom in you can see here it is a needle which is pointing towards the first option let me just bend it something like this you can see here and then i'm going to select this and this and bring this to front you can see here, so it is here and this one and this one i'm going to group it press ctrl g to group it so this is grouped you can see here this is grouped now this is my first option so the text if you want you can keep the option here itself or you can add a new slide also so let me just add the text here this is my step one let me just make the same color which is the green color right aligned any font of your choice you can choose it make it bold so this is my step one and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw a small rectangle you can see here shape fill the same color shape outline make it no outline and below you can add the detail text add detail text here again this one i'm going to give some gray color combination reduce the size right align and then you can add it here so this is my step one so now this is my slide one and then i'm going to add one more slide you can see here select the slide right mouse click and just say duplicate the slide you can see here so this is my second slide what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the circle which is second circle you can see the arrow i'm just going to rotate it can you see here and bringing the needle to the second option and then i'm going to select this you can see here the format painter i'm going to click on this so it becomes uh, the light one and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d this is my second option and i'm going to change to option two here and go to the transition click on the morph you can see here it comes something like this and if you want to make it faster just reduce to maybe one point so you can see here if i just do a slideshow when i click it goes second one now i want to make it the third one so i'm going to select the second slide duplicate it then again select this bring it to the third one and then i'm going to select this go to home tab format painter click on this then i'm going to select this one press ctrl d so this is my third option or the third step and duplicate one more time then this one i'm going to select and click on this and this is again duplicating and i'm going to make it step four so let me just play how it looks so this is a step one when i click step two step three and step four i forgot to rotate this let me just move it here you can see here so this is my step four that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye